This is the radiation therapy project with the group members Joshua Green, Justin Clark, and Christopher Gatch. What is cancer? Any malignant growth or tumor caused by abnormal and uncontrolled cell division. It may spread to other parts of the body through the lymphatic system or the bloodstream. The illustration at your right shows the pro progression of tumor cells to cancer cells. Cancer can either fall into one of two categories. The first category is benign tumors. These are non-cancerous and do not metastasize to other sites within the body. The second type is malignant tumors. They are cancerous and thus can metastasize to other parts of the body. Some cancer facts. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States. Half of all men and one third of all women in the U.S. will develop cancer during their lifetimes. The diagram illustrates the degree of cancer epidemiology per cancer. As you can see, breast is the most fatal cancer in females, and prostate cancer is the most fatal cancer in males. Some risk factors include cigarette smoking, which increases an individual's chances of developing cancer by two to three times the normal rate. Diet is another risk factor for cancer. Foods high in fat have been known to cause cancer. Other risk factors are exposure to carcinogens and heredity. Persistent fatigue is also a symptom of cancer. Fatigue is one of the most commonly experienced cancer symptoms. It is usually more common when the cancer is advanced, but still occurs in the early stages. Unintentional weight loss. Lo losing 10 or more pounds without dieting or intending to lose weight can be one of the first symptoms experienced with cancer. Fever. Most cancer patients experience a fever at some point it may be due to the disease affecting their immune system. Changes to the skin. Skin changes such as jaundice, darkening of the skin, abnormal hair growth, reddening, and skin itchiness can indicate certain types of cancer. Pain. Pain is normally present when the cancer has progressed. However, it can be indicated early on of some other cancers, such as bone cancer. What tests can be done to screen for cancer? Prostate specific antigen test is used for prostate cancer. CT, MRI, an ultrasound scan, endoscopy, lumbar puncture, cystoscopy, barium x-ray, and bone marrow tests also can be utilized. Prostate cancer is the most prevalent cancer in men affecting 230,000 men annually. Ages 50 and older should be tested annually. The PSA test measures the blood level of prostate specific antigen. Cervical cancer test. Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer in women affecting about 1 out of 123 women per year and kills about 9 per 100,000 per year. Treatments for cancer include, but are not limited to, radiation therapy, surgery, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, and individual cancer drugs. What is radiation therapy? Radiation therapy is the medical use of ionizing radiation as part of cancer treatment to control malignant cells. Radiation therapy may be used for curative or adjuvant cancer treatment. It is also used as palliative treatment where the cure is not possible and the aim is for local disease control or symptomatic relief, or as therapeutic treatment where the therapy has survival benefit but is not curative. How is this radiation delivered? 
external beam therapy, which includes or ortho voltage x ray machines, cobalt 60 machines, linear accelerators, proton beam machines, and neutron beam machines. There is also internal radiation therapy, which is also known as brachytherapy. Radiation therapy machines. The first type of therapy machine we're going to talk about is linear accelerators. Linear accelerators produce ionizing radiation by shooting a stream of electrons at a tungsten molybdenum target to produce photons. Linear accelerators produce x-rays only when they are energized. They do not have a live source. In the illustration, you can see that this linear accelerator is only producing electrons as it is not hitting a target, which that enables it to produce photons. Radiation therapy machines. Cobalt-60 teletherapy unit. Cobalt units use a live radiation source. Cobalt units have an average energy of 1.25 mega electron volts. Cobalt units are being replaced by linear accelerators which provide a wider range of energies and do not need their source replaced. Cobalt units are commonly used to treat superficial lesions. The unit that you see on this slide is from the early 1950s. What does a radiation therapist do? Radiation therapists are an essential part of the oncology team. Therapists give radiation treatments by lining up the patient to their marks by use of lasers. These marks are essentially permanent marker on the patient's skin or tattoos. This process is also called triangulation. While the patient is receiving their treatment, therapists monitor the audiovisual systems to ensure that the patient has not moved and that there is no complications. What does a radiation therapist do? Therapists also build professional relationships with their patients and they constantly monitor their well-being. Therapists take weekly radiographs to ensure that the patient is still being treated in the correct position. Therapists work with physicians and dosimeters to make sure that the patients receive the best treatment possible. Side effects of radiation therapy. Hair loss, nausea, fatigue, low blood count, Erythemia, also known as redness of the skin, xerostomia, also called dry mouth, genetic effects, and carcinogenicity.